Welcome to the Stroganoff! Stroganoff. Sometimes it's embarrassing to admit we like it. I mean, it's so creamy and self-indulgent, right? What? Lucky for us, there's several different ways to try stroganoff. Today, several of us are going to show you just how satisfying stroganoff can be. So join us today as myself and a few of my friends enjoy some stroganoff together. Seven different types, and we're going to share it all with you. Welcome to Backpacking with Buckley. What do you feel? What do you feel about stroganoff? I just didn't feel like the stroganoff tonight. Good. Thanks, Ken. Why do you hate America? All right. So the complexities of backpacking food. How do you add up how much water to boil for seven stroganoffs? And here are two mathematicians that have concurred and came up with the same answer, so we're trusting them and we're appreciative of their math. 11 cups. Ken and Sam, how many? 11. 11 cups, duly agreed. The two smartest guys in math camp. Thanks, fellas. Mr. Chris from Barnyard Outdoors has solved the problem of avoiding any type of uh, cross-contamination of spoons while we stir the stroganoff. Um, what's your solution there, Chris? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use my ass spoon here. And we'll just stir all of them up with this before I, you know, sully it up by eating with it. Perfect. I think everybody's cool with that. Thanks, Chris. This is free camp chow. Camp chow. Like beef stroganoff. Two. Two. stroganoff. Beef stroganoff two. Camp chow. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Right. Stroganoff. I was like, hey. I predict this is the best one. Comrade Doganoff. 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 That's Doganoff. so good. Comrade Doganoff. Is that Russian? It's Ukraine. Backpackers Pantry, Stroganoff. Yeah, I, got, I got water here. Here, let me stick my ass spoon in there. All right, ass spoon. Um, is somebody timing Eight. this? We have We're going to wait 20 yeah. minutes. Are you out in there, Mr. Buckley? Did you just put my Make ass spoon in your mouth? Are you sure? Did you put my ass spoon in your mouth? It tastes nutty. It's on the other <laughs> end. Peak refuel, Stroganoff. Oh, shit. Do I get all the silica packs? No, yeah. there's one in here. Okay. Don't eat them. That's fine. Don't eat them. Trailtopia. Stroganoff. It's boiling already. Is it really? It was icy. We all know this, obviously. Uh, Mountain House Adventure Meals. Beef stroganoff. Beef stroganoff. This is Jason's favorite. Yeah. This one's for you, Jason. This one is uh, Backpacker's Pantry. Mushroom stroganoff. So there's not even beef. Stroganoff. In it, but it's stroganoff. How do you, how do you compare stroganoff. It to beef stroganoff? Stroganoff. Say it like you mean it. Stroganoff. All right. So the uh, way we're gonna do this is everybody's gonna tell me, and Chris will do his own version. So I will make sure to link that video below. Barnyard Outdoors, of uh, and Miyagi. Uh, Y'all know Miyagi, and Outdoor Iowan, and uh, Sam. Where you at? Over here. Six two Magoo. Hiking crew and uh, all our other friends that are with us, Trips and Wanderer and good old Ken. Hi, good old Ken. I got Hi. everybody. I got everybody. So yeah, we're gonna see first and worst from my video. The doganoff has humongous. It's big pieces of deer. Beef. The what? It's deer actually. All right, Wanderer. What did you like and hate? Uh, peak refuel was delicious. All right. And the um, Mountain House Adventure Meal was my least favorite. All right. We know somebody that's going to love to hear that one. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Trips? I only can try one. Why? Because I can't have gluten. Well, that has some value, right? Yes. So, <laughs> so which one had? Camp Chow has no gluten in it. All right. Um, it had good flavor. It was a little watery, and the noodles didn't quite seem done, even though we let it cook five minutes longer than what it said. Perfect points. So, but good flavor. Would you, I mean, you, would trail, you try I it again? It. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Beautiful. Camp Chow is from no, Minnesota, yeah. I yes. think. Yep. yep. North Shore. All right. So All right. Sweet. All right. Six two Magoo, otherwise known. Did I get you, Sam? As as Sam, I know your name, Sam. Sam, Sam I know your name. 
No, so I was just like making that. sure trips didn't trip. What'd you Thank think you. about the stroganoff? My favorite stroganoff is the Stowaway Gourmet. Ooh, yeah. Doganoff. Doganoff. It's got I a lot of I thought it was votes. Russian, but it's made in Oregon. <laughs> it's made in Oregon. And right. my least favorite was the Camp Chow. Camp Chow. Which is which one? I don't have a Camp Chow. Oh, the, uh, the one from Minnesota. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Fair enough. Thanks, Sam. All right. Miyagi from Miyagi and Trips on the Trail. We're always ready to hear your opinion on stroganoff. My favorite stroganoff of the seven was the fantasy stroganoff. I mean, the stowaway gourmet, the doganoff was my favorite. Tim likes to call this the fantasy. This is the yeah. fantasy stroganoff. The stroganoff that you think about at night. Yeah. Is it? It tastes kind of funny. Maybe it's the dough. I'm not sure. Number two was the peak refuel. That was really good. And then my number three is the mountain house. Ooh. Least, of eight, uh, least favorite, which surprised me, was the uh, camp chow. Yeah. I don't know if uh, maybe somebody mixed it wrong, but it's very soupy. It might have been mixed wrong, or it's worth a second try, but the noodles just, were a little hard. The noodles were a little Uncooked. hard, and the flavor profile wasn't there. Just like the, There wasn't a lot of spices and stuff going on. Yeah. The thickest of all of them was the peak refuel. Yeah. But, uh, that might have been mixed wrong, too, but it still tasted it, good, no, right? So it, it's a nice, consistent flavor. If you want a kind of a variety of flavors, though, the Doganoff was the best. I think it had the best mouthfeel, and I think the flavor profile can't beat this one. All right. Thanks for your opinion, Miyagi. It, Adam from Outdoor Iowan, who should check out his channel on YouTube, uh, is going to give us his opinion on stroganoff. What were your uh, first and worst? So first was by far peak peak refuel. All right. I found it to be the best tasting and the creaminess of it just reminded me of what I would have at home. All right. And then worst, um, pretty much everything else other than the doganoff. All right. So wow. I mean, I, I mean everything else pretty much tasted the same and wasn't anything great. But the the Doganoff was actually a close second, or was second place. Everything else, shit. All right. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'm, and more importantly, it's good to meet you. Uh, another new friend. We will hang out again. I can't wait. Yeah, me neither, man. It was a good time. Great time. Yeah, it's been awesome. Three days of uh, surviving in the cold with more luxuries than... I would say thriving. Yeah. Thriving. Yeah. I wouldn't even say surviving. We were thriving. <laughs> Precisely. That's the perspective I think we all need to remember is that we aren't out here uh, I mean, doing what the old timers did. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we got we got burgers and brats sitting over there with our names on it. I yeah. mean, we've been we've been thriving. Yeah. Did we hunt any of those burgers and brats down, or did we just bring them in? I went to the grocery store <laughs> and bought them. Yeah. So kind of. Yeah. So you can read between the lines on the message we're trying to tell here, right, Adam? Yeah. All right. We're Thanks, not buddy. Survivorless. We'll see you soon. So how did you feel about the stroganoff? That being said, he just got back from his 20-mile hike. <laughs> I walked in, and you guys offered me a hot hot taste off here, and uh, it all was good. That's how you get it. Just hiking that many miles, but I think the peak was actually the best. All right. Peak refill seems popular. Thanks, man. It was a pleasure to meet you, too. So what did we learn today about stroganoff? There's a lot of different types, and it's okay to try them all until you find something that you like. After all, it will result in a better time out on trail. As far as which one I liked best, the clear-cut winner for me was Peak Refuel, and a close second was the Commander Doganoff, with a mountain house always being one of my favorite staples. Beyond that, they were all tasty enough to try again, so we'll see next time. Until then, be yourself, be happy. We'll catch you on the next adventure, everybody. What are you doing?